right so this is how you can extract or you unzip and play your favorite psp games for android so you need two apps to achieve this you need the ps the pppsspp app and you also need the z archiver app to unzip the app. let me show you to you the two apps that you need just go to your play store if you're making use of android if you're making use of iphone you go to app store search for pp sspp yeah this application pp sspp you download you may have already downloaded it already then for the application you used to unzip the psp game app all right z archiver you download this app z archiver so you can extract the game from the compressed file so the psp emulator application can be able to read it and enable you to play the game all right so if you've downloaded the game already if you downloaded the pssp app game it will be in your file manager to be in your phone memory on that download folder but as for me i have moved it to my memory card i have moved it to my memory card so first of all just go to the folder that you done where you kept the games first go and locate where the games are as you can see the games are in og psp games OP, OG PSP games folder that is the folder that I need to keep the PSP games that I have so you have to first trace it out and be sure that it is there okay I have Naruto I have Ben 10 it is here you can see it for yourself so once you've located the folder that is holding your downloaded PSSPP games once you've located the folder that has your downloaded PSSPP games what is next is for you to go to ZICover application, which is this app. This app, ZICover. ZICover. You have to use the app to extract the PSSPP game so that your PPSSPP emulator can access the game and play it. You understand? So, let me show you how to go about it. So, click on it. Then locate where your, where the game is. Like mine, my, my, mine is in memory card. Like I said earlier, mine is in memory card. Then go to OG games, OG PSP games. All right. So once you've located the games, yours, your own downloaded um, PSP game will look like this zip file. It will look like this zip exactly like this zip then once you've extracted it out it will look like this one's up that has a cd plate symbol on it it will look like this cd plate and uh, folder once it's extracted so first of all once you've not extracted it it will look like a zip file but once you've extracted the pssp game it will look like this uh, psp game that has cd rom on top of the folder and the title of the of the PSP game at the ending we have dot ISO. Look at it dot ISO. Even Naruto 2, if you look at the ending of the name, you see dot ISO. That is the name of the file format for any PSSP emulator to uh, to read and play. You understand me? So if the PSP game file is not having this um title at the ending dot ISO no PSPP emulator can read the file to play the game you understand me so once you see that it means it has been extracted but if you see that if you try to use the PSSPP app to play it and it is not working that means you still need to extract it but if you've extracted it it will look exactly like this so this is how to go about the extraction of the PSSPP game app so just tap on the file so we're tapping on Ben 10 then click on extract here that is if you want the game to be extracted in this same folder or you click on extract to then but i believe um it's best if you just click on extract here because it's best to just organ because it's good you organize your game so since i've organized my game it's best i just click on extract here so that the game too can also be extracted in the same folder 
So let me click on extract here. Okay. By telling me that I have extracted it, if I click on, if I re-extract it back again, it will overwrite the file. So I'll just click on skip. So I can show you how it works. Skip. Okay, it's like I'll delete this other one. Let me extract it now too. Okay, extracting. All right. All right, so as it is now, it is extracting. So once it is extracting, like you just tap on keep keep the screen from turning off, activate it, and allow your and allow the game to extract. Once it has finished extracting, it will reach hundred percent. And once it reaches hundred percent, it will look like the Benten file that is having that CD plate on top of the folder. Okay. So once you successfully extracted it, just go to your PPSSPP emulator app and locate where the game is and play your game with peace of mind and enjoy the game now go to the p the pppsspp game app the pppsspp emulator app all right so once you've entered the, the pppsspp application well i've already started playing the game so that is why you're seeing the game just popping up like this. So once you enter the app, just click on games. This up side here, click on games. Then trace where the games are. If it is, uh, if the games was in my phone internal memory, I would have just click on this home button here, this home image here. Okay. Then trace it out. Look for where the folder is. Like now, if it was in my download, I click on download. Locate it. Are you seeing it? Then. But since I told you that the games are in my S in my memory card, just click on SD card, SD card. Then look for the folder which is OGPS. Look at it here, OGPS the game. Are you seeing it? Then once you've located it, just tap on it once. So just click on start click on continue just keep all this is keep it skip it skip it just skip it skip 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 okay let me just increase the volume for you so so just skip everything skip it skip it all right you click on new game it is difficult you want it. You know man, just click on any of them. So I'll click on normal. You click on new game, click on normal. Click on empty, select empty. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just keeping all these things, I'm just keeping it. Then click on continue. Alright, so this is the game. So why the game is actually hanging my side is because I'm actually recording this game. It was not recording this game to be very smooth. Even the sound to be very smooth as well. So alright, let me just show you some settings you need to do. So go to just click on the return button. Let me show you again. Return button here. Then go to settings, tap settings. Under graphics, okay. Under graphics. Leave your rendering solution at 2x. Okay, if the picture quality is still low, you can click 4x. Then in bracket 1080 pixel. But for me, I'm okay, I'm satisfied with the the graphics then there's one thing i want to show you click on display display layout and effects 
tap on stretch. Like now, I've already stretched mine. If I untick it now, I see it became short. Tap on stretch. Uh -huh. Click on back. Very good. So that's what you need to do. Then, if you notice that, if naturally your game is hanging, just tap on frame skipping, tap either one or two, it will be fast a bit. But if your game is ready fast, if your game is ready fast, like it's not breaking down, it's not hanging, it's better you just deactivate it, just click on off, deactivate it. Okay, just deactivate it. Deactivate it. Then other systems, other systems, other systems. There's nothing for you to do under systems. Don't don't mess with it. Just leave it. So just ensure that you just control. You just do what I just showed you now under graphics. Then your controls. Tap on controls. Tap on edit touch control layout. Tap on it. Then if you want to increase the size, tap on resize here. Yeah. Then you increase it. Okay, just tap. Uh -huh. You can increase the size if you want to, however you want to. Then if you want to move it, tap on move. Move it wherever you want to go to move it. You get. Uh -huh. So this is how to just set your control pad. This is how to just con set your control pad. So let's move back to the game. Alright, so thank you for watching. Continue to <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.